Alrighty then, successful indie author, five minute focus, episode 663, Loss Leader. <clears throat> Alright, Stanley not in here again, he's out in the other room. Alright, <clears throat> and we've already been on three walks this morning, because it's really nice out there finally, 50, 50 to 60 degrees out, very nice. Uh, summer, even. Loss Leader. A loss leader is a product of yours that you sell at a loss in order to bring customers on board to your brand, to your series, to you. So that's uh, think about it as the samples at the end of the grocery store aisle. People are out there. They're getting paid minimum wage or whatever they're getting paid, a percentage to uh, hand out these samples. Okay, there's no way they can make their money off that. However, if they sell enough, eh, they might break even. Breaking even is cool. But it gets you into that brand, too. It gets you into the salty snack foods where you say, hey, I got to have these. I got to have more Doritos. I got to have pretzels. I got to have this uh, cool little uh, thing. It's a mini quiche. My God, I got to have that. It tastes so good. That's because you're in the grocery store. You're usually hungry. Uh, don't go to the grocery store hungry. You spend more money than you need to. But those samples, they're cool. Uh, in college, most college kids go there on Saturday mornings in order to eat their meals uh, with the samples. So all different kinds of things you can do. Not a winner. Loss leader. It means you're taking a loss to lead people into your brand. All right. <clears throat> so effective loss leaders are a very good representative of your books. So what's the best sample of your books? A book. A book as in a full-length novel, if that's what you're writing. But you can only give away what you have. So if you have a short story or a novelette or a novella and that's all you have extra, then give that away in order to bring people into your brand. If you have only one book, don't give it away. Wait until after you have more books to get them into the brand. Because if there's nothing else for people to immediately buy, they're not going to remember a month down the road, oh, hey, this author had one book. Maybe they have another by now and keep checking back. No, they're not going to do that. They check immediately. And if there are other books, instant gratification, they might dive in. So an effective loss leader only works if you have something else for somebody to buy. So don't do a loss leader unless you have stories. Now, that goes out the window when you're building a newsletter list. If you have a short story, which is a promise of more to come, but as long as they sign up for a newsletter, now you've got them. Now you can tell them, hey, that next book is out. That's a different kind of loss leader than the one where you're given a sample to then bring more people on board the brand. But if you're getting an email address, that's a transaction. You're getting what you what you want from that is an email address that you can then contact them later and say, hey, the book is now available. <clears throat> Invest what time you have. Time is your currency. Time is what you have. So if you have time to write a full book, and after you've written for a lot of years, you probably have an extra full book out there that maybe didn't sell well, even though it's a good sample of your writing, and then that can turn into your loss leader that you promote everywhere in order to get out and uh, get people into your brand. People are willing to take a look at a free book sometimes. A lot of people just download a free book because it's free, but it depends how you market it. If you put it in their hands because, hey, you're a sci-fi reader, here, let me give you this book, take a look, let me know what you think. Now you kind of put them on the spot. All right. That's uh, in person or if you uh, uh, work <clears throat> uh, directly with people via social media, uh, we get a question, would it be worth adding a chapter one of a new series to the end of a new? You can always add a chapter. That's uh, something, add that one chapter at the end. I've done that a lot. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If the people are invested, then uh, they may dive over. But it's better than no chapter. If you don't put anything there, how are they going to know that next series is coming? So all marketing, always be marketing. Uh, don't let a book just rest on its laurels. Have front matter. Say, hey, watch my newsletter, join my newsletter, watch my website, check out my blog, uh, listen to my TikTok. And then at the end, go through all of that again. And oh, by the way, hey, here's the next book in the series. Here's a new series that if you like this series, you're going to like this new series too. Always, always be marketing. And that's something, it's not you selling yourself because it's just passive. It's you in there. It's not say, hey, buy my book, buy my book. No, it's say, hey, if you liked this story, let's look at this in-between thing. If you like this story, you might like 
this new series. I think you should check it out. And uh, there you go. Here's the first chapter, or here's just the snippet. Here's the blurb. Just something to keep them on board. Because if they read all the way to the end, then they're already taken with your book. They've given you a chance. They've given you your time, their time, which time is our currency, right? So if they've given you their time, they might be willing to give you more because you entertained them all the way through the length of this book. Pushing audio, make audio your loss leader then. Uh, write a novelette, 10,000 words. You can put a, uh, that into audio, put it up on Book Funnel as part of your annual subscription, and then you can give it away for free. Anything under 90 minutes, I think, is the, is the limit. And you can give it away for free. Here's an audio. I have one of those. I have a 90-minute audio. I think it's 88 minutes is what it came out to that uh, I give away for free just to help keep my audio list populated. A loss leader. It's something you give in order to get people into your brand. If you don't write a series, if you do write a series, get your people, get uh, the readers into the series. It's to bring people on board and keep them on board. Do not use a loss leader if you have nothing else for them to buy unless you can get their email address.